The last Kimage house we featured was bang in the heart of London. This one takes a 29-kilometer dust road trek into the Oliphant's Reserve, where your neighbors might be elephant, hippo, and crocodiles. Oh, how awesome to be in the middle of the African bush. Loved London, but let me tell you, I've got something to show you here. Let's go see it then. This family escape is so remote by road that site visits often meant a quick flight in and out before dark. Perfect for the homeowner, since he's a pilot who loves flying as much as he does the bush. His family, including three grown-up children, are everything to him, and he's also a passionate cook. Kim had to integrate all these interests into a retreat with a footprint small enough not to impact on the natural surrounds, but still feeling as broad and expansive as the views. Come in. <laughs> Okay, you were right when you said you had something magnificent to show me. You've got this fairly narrow entrance and then it just opens up completely. Isn't that beautiful? And as I say, that's what we had to work with. The home was stepped down towards the river. And when I spoke to the clients before we came, I said, what's your favorite thing about the home? And they said they absolutely love the fact that there's a small entrance, you open the doors, and you literally focus your eyes straight away on this magnificent, almost framed picture of the river, literally beneath you. And classic Kim H, you've got a fun element with this hippo behind me. Absolutely, and it's got quite a sweet story in that the wife bought it for the husband without him knowing a thing. <laughs> I think a fair amount of money was spent on it, so she was nervous. And uh, when he walked in on the first day and saw it, he absolutely loved it. And it's quite fun being welcomed into the space with a beautiful bronze hippo. And you've laid it so beautifully, and if I'm right, Thank it you. creates an illusion of space. Well, we were very lucky, but hard pushed because the limitations were strictly 230 square meters under roof, and that was exactly the same as London. But the advantage we have here is an incredible volume uh, with the slowly stepping or cascading of the house at different levels. And even though everything flows beautifully, each space still has its own signature. You do want to make it feel like one space that all links in together, mm -hmm. but it's also nice to give each area a little bit of something individual or a little bit quirky or whatever, but we needed to use every single inch. Every room feels as if it's actually outdoors. What we've done is we've got sliding stacking glass doors that go into the wall mm -hmm. so that when I'm having a big family lunch here, it actually feels like that space outside it's is part. actually part of the dining room. And how about this interesting table? It's got collective nouns on it, am I right? <laughs> it has indeed. We wanted a rough finish to the table, but again, a little element of fun, a little bit of something different, a journey of giraffes. I don't know if you've ever heard of that, because I certainly haven't. I would have never known that. <laughs> <laughs> a surfeit of skunk. A surfeit. <laughs> But I say we had a huge amount of fun and the mm. family absolutely loved it because it relates to the bush. And so, I think it's so convenient that you have the kitchen right by the dining room. Absolutely. It's a space for the whole family. The dad is a, a, a mad chef and obviously wants to spend time with his children, etc. But he also had to work with limitations. Uh, from the point of view that, from a green point of view, the, the reserve is very strict about what you can have and what you can't have, how much electricity you can use, the geysers are solar. Um, so it's quite a challenge for them. But because he's a big chef, loved the cold room, so he had to forfeit elsewhere. So it was a very good and very sound green element to the whole development of this home. Kim, it seems like you just love limitations. I love limitations. I do. It's, uh, in fact, in my office I have a sign that says limitations fuel creativity. It forces you to think. It forces you to maximize. Well, speaking of space, this all makes so much sense to me being down here and looking at that. Well, the architect is a gentleman by the name of Craner Null and I asked him for his input and he said what he sees this as the house of ledges mm. and it, it's these levels cascading down the side towards the river. And I think he did a fantastic job. Let it flow is the idea with no formal spaces. When it comes to a house in the bush, people can tend to go too stereotypical African bush. Yes, I agree with you. I think a lot of people go, because it's in the bush, it must be very bush-like. Mm. But the problem with that is that it, it dates 
So you're spending a lot of money and it's got a right off sort of period. Mm-hmm. And secondly, I think as the owners of the home as well, if you walk in here uh, every time a coconut and it's overbushed, mm. I think you'll get sick and tired of it. So you bring in elements of it very subtly mm-hmm. and combine it with other stylish naturals. We also brought in uh, a little bit of color, um, but nothing, no bright colors, bright colors date as well. The touches of acid green add that vibrancy in a subtle, understated way, as do the dining room chairs in burnt orange. Which is your favorite part of this home? Singularly and undoubtedly, it is this bar type area, not a traditional bar type area, which I don't generally like. But what we've done is we've created out of natural wood, a very solid, solid, solid base, beautiful solid counter. And the family, as much as their dad's cooking and this, that, the next thing, they often congregate here. And they can have a good couple of drinks, they can play cards, they can eat here sometimes. And the beauty of it is, it's proximity Mm -hmm. to the outside with these beautiful doors wide open and you can hear the babble of the river in the background. It's a very privileged environment, but they love every minute of being here. Kim insists the main bed in the main bedroom must always face a magnificent view to be enjoyed every waking moment. Kim, as I walk in, I can feel that it is quite spacious, yet it's still warm and cozy. You do actually come here in the winter, and in the winter it is absolutely freezing. So you need a bit of private space. Mm. Uh, But how it was designed around being away from the children, above the rest of the home, and as if you're in in the most beautiful bush tree house. And it feels like that. The client said their favorite spot in the whole home is on their main bed with their windows completely open, their curtains completely open. And they wake up at like five o'clock in the morning and you can hear the river babbling, you can smell the bush. Just what a privilege, you're in your own private little tree house. Being a child in this family, you'd struggle to fly the nest. I'm sure you've paid special attention to each and every bedroom. Absolutely. You want each child that was going to stay in each of the areas also want a little bit of input and a little bit of a special item. And we so we tried to individualize them. But what we also did with the, our limitations we spoke about that we had here and we had in London of the sizes, I've incorporated the bathrooms uh, into each of the bedrooms so that even while you're in the bathroom, you have a view of this magnificent river from every single bedroom. Cool. Speaking of, how about you pop out outside quickly? I reckon I'm quite, I'm quite comfortable with that. Let's do that. Kim always advises to think open-mindedly about what you want, then have the courage to do it. This is what it's all about. <laughs> and now, oh, listen to the river, smell the bush. We've designed a home, we've got... Uh, maximum view everywhere but in some ways this is what it's all about this unbelievable deck that is virtually over the river and feeds back to this beautiful open space what a dream and don't you sometimes think why don't I just move in for a little bit I think with this home absolutely I would love to live here uh, it's been such a privilege to work on it and I think what's made it extra special is I know in my heart of hearts that the family absolutely love every minute here together as a family every minute that they spend here and that is priceless from here Mr. H does a beach house in Italy and we eagerly await his next invitation